go inside? Nope. How is this going to work? Just team up like normal or... How long you been tracking these guys? A few weeks. Heard rumors for a while. They leave bodies in their wake. They care a lot about the Crimson Hour, whatever that is. <laughs> the hot new club in Hell's Kitchen? Wow, that just popped out there, huh? Who says stuff like that? Not me. Left's all mine. We shouldn't have to wait much longer. The new recruits will be here within the hour. I just hope they're stronger than the last group. <laughs> That'll do. When we find their boss, how will we know it's their boss? Something tells me these people aren't fans of subtlety. Let's look around. Up here. Wow. Take out the cultists and keep moving? Sounds good. So, it's been, what, a year and a half since... How have you been? You don't have to do this, Stealthawk. We're here on a job. The Fool's Beacon. How uh, can you be sure it's Spider-Man? Because the flame is sure. Has he ever been wrong? That's all, boss. I suggest you the flames now. Patience. All we ask for is trust. It's not small talk for me. I was worried about you. I was angry for foreigners. Come Stop. out wherever you are! But I'm better now. Steady. He can't hide forever! It's only a matter of time, Spider-Man. <laughs> Hey, uh, you okay? No sign of their boss yet. Let's keep going. Uh, it's locked. And I bet forcing it will trigger an alarm. Doesn't look like it takes keys. Must be a way to unlock it around here. Trust in the flame. To have doubt is to be human, but to trust is to be worthy. Trust in the flame. To have doubt is to be human, but to trust is to be worthy. I think I get the idea. Seems like new recruits are always paired up when they join. Good way to keep an eye on everyone. Looks like the cult uses tattoos to show off their ranks. And they're always paired up when they join. Wait, I've got an idea. You want to share with the class? Just watch. That's it. The door only opens when it sees the correct pair of tattoos. I've got mine. You see anyone with a Hephaestus tattoo? Please, please don't wake up. And not the tattoo I'm looking for. Great. There we go. Second time's the charm. <clears throat> so, you got any tattoos? Just the one of Spider Cop's gravestone. Come on, really? If you run away again, he won't be so forgiving. Trust the flame, for everything burns. For everything burns.
You hear that somewhere? <laughs> Good enough. Let's check on the prisoners. We'll get you out of here. The door controls are in the next room. Hurry! How many followers are in the building? I... I don't know. A lot. We're gonna get you out of here as soon as we can. Please. I'm not supposed to be here. We'll find a way to get you out. If the flame lets you. Hey, you okay in there? Hello? We're here to help. Don't be so loud. So the controls are in the next room. If they're the followers of the flame, is that the flame holding court down there? I don't think so. We still worthy. Let all doubt be washed away as we <clears throat> celebrate this ember's passage from Typhon to Hephaestus. You doing okay? You sound... I'm peachy. No longer will you need to hide your true self from the world. For now, there is no way in which the world can harm you. Looks like there's no other exits out of this room. Let's hope there's more here than that screensaver. The brand is both... He's a bear! Find him at the bear! So up. See the door controls anywhere? I'm not sure. The wiring for the cells leads right here. Come on! We really need to stop meeting like this, Yuri. People will think you're trying to kill me. Never thought you'd be able to trick anyone into joining one of your little clubs again. Love is not a trick. None of this is love. I extended my hand when nobody else would. I doubt you, nor the fool's beacon there, would have done the same. But what would it take for you to love me? Tell me where you're hiding and I'll show you. <laughs> the old hospital north of Astoria. Stop by anytime. If you're both worthy. You knew who the flame was this whole time? I had my suspicions, but I wasn't sure until I saw him. The flame's not even here. We have to go after him. After we help the prisoners get out. Oh, hi! Can't hide now, Spider-Man! The flame burns eternal! Let's get upstairs. More followers behind the door of the bus. It's the only way out. Wait here. We'll make sure it's safe. You want to handle the door? Why not? I see him. He's here. Okay. First things first. How does he know who you are? My voice. When I was chasing the club, he enjoyed it. He learned who I was and could always tell me how I felt. Yeah. What else do you know about him? That group he ran with before? When we got close to capturing him, he told them it was violent time. He killed them so nobody would talk to him. And they let him. He's a monster. 
Time you've seen him since he got away? I tried to track him down for months, but other cases got in the way. They knew he was around them. And the followers of the flame, are they like his old group? The old group was small. Those people? I don't know what's bigger. Their numbers or their confidence. Now let's get those folks out of here. Shouldn't take us long to get to the hospital. Huh? Yuri! This is the most obvious trap I've ever seen! And I fought Trapster. We can't wait on this one. You don't know him. I do know that we can't help anyone if we rush in there and get killed. We need a plan. I'll scout out this hospital base of his and make sure everything's safe. Happy? That's one word for it, sure. Another word would be slightly less stress. There! That person's in trouble! No, no, no! I've got this! Get clear! No, 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 no! Okay, clear for now. Hey, Yuri! I checked out the old hospital that the Flame said he'd be at. It's guarded, but nothing we can't handle. You ready? I still think it's a trap. We need a plan before we go in. Sure. There's a rooftop near the hospital. We'll talk there. Uh, see you soon. Must be asking, when did this turn into a science fiction podcast? I'll tell you, when fiction became reality. As a boy, I would read stories of beings from other worlds who wreaked great terror upon our planet and write. She went in without me. I'm going after her. They're still breathing. But I don't know if the flame is gonna be so lucky. Not after Yuri said how dangerous he is. We have no idea what their Crimson Hour Doomsday event is. And she just runs in. This wasn't a part of the prophecy. Trust the flame and keep watching. She has to leave eventually. or not. She was so fast. Did... All right. Where are... 
are you, Yuri? That's not a good rumble. Just need to get to her. Can anyone hear me? Anyone? That's a map of Brooklyn. Is that where the Crimson Hour is supposed to happen? Why Brooklyn? What's Oscorp got to do with all of this? A warehouse? Scrapyard? Parking lot? Library? What's the connection? I am Urs. I've heard some concern amongst you recently concerning our losses at the clinic. My concern is that you thought of them as losses at all. Those embers who fell revealed themselves to be unworthy. And though we miss them, we have only grown stronger without them. So, when little Miss Yuri and the Fool's Beacon come to visit us, you show them how worthy we are. Trust the flame, for everything burns. Who is this guy? No! What now? I want this cleared as soon as possible. What happened to the roof key? Clear that rubble now! Now! Yuri's behind that rubble. I take out these cultists I can get to her. And the flame. Wait. They're making explosives here. They're not waiting for the Crimson Hour. They want to cause it. I am worthy. I know I am worthy. Just think of the Crimson Hour and how beautiful it will be. You don't want this world to go to the unworthy, do you? No. No. Show the how strong you are and that he was right to trust you. <laughs> Show him. to concern ourselves with. So the fool thinks he can win, huh? You won't get away, spider! We will find you, Spider-Man. Hey! This ain't the time for resting! Now to clear the rubble. <laughs> Who said anything about Oscorp? <laughs> Yuri. Yeah. 
There. That'll keep pressure on it until I can... If you want the flames, you're gonna have to go through me! And you're about to swallow a lot of blood! Well, Yuri, trust me! Trust you? What about you trusting me? You weren't there the last time you escaped! You didn't find the body! You didn't see his face! No, I can't even imagine! But that still doesn't make this right! I am not letting him get away again! I can't! I want to free him! No! You just want to go that way! Congratulations. You get to live out the rest of your life behind bars. And I owe it all to you. God, that's beautiful. I'm only gonna enjoy this a little bit! Just a man in a costume! Laying 
figure out your priorities because I'd rather lose sleep over the one person I killed than all the ones I didn't save I know my priorities I I am not going to let the flame hurt anyone else I'll find him Somehow. Wait, what is that? Looks mysterious. Another nest. Where to go? Ugh, as if these things weren't creepy enough already. Can't let up! Gotta save these people! Ah, moved again!
<laughs> Thank you. You're safe now. Take a breather, and when you're ready, get inside. Thank you. What's up? Hey, Mr. Parker. Um, you've been dealing with those fire cult guys, right? The followers of the flame? Yeah. I'm seeing reports on social media say they spotted a few of them on a rooftop in Brooklyn. I'll send you the details. I'll check it out. Thanks, Genki. Is the Crimson Hour about to start? Keeping watch on that scrapyard nearby. And there's some burned up papers about Oscorp. I better get down there. Great. They're still setting up. But this doesn't look like an Oscorp property. What are they. The Crimson Hour won't be long now, my embers. Can you feel it? Unworthy will. Soon enough. <laughs> All those innocent people. Gotta disable these bombs before they can hurt the civilians in those buildings. I can do this. <laughs> so this is the Crimson Hour. Burning Brooklyn and everyone in it to the What's ground. We all. This day would come, or at least the worthy did. The unworthy? Looking we back. will find him fast. There's no telling how much time's left. The streets, ignoring the sun. Sneaking around isn't that much Lane fun anyway. Sees you, Spider-Man. Wolfsegan has arrived. Bombs going offline. Great. Yuri. Broadcasting! 
missing from it. We can find him together when we're done here. You can look for my lighter. Rick stole it at the hospital. Suffer for your actions. Now. Tankers. You've stopped trains before, right? Yeah. No brakes. Great. It's not working! Got any ideas? We derail it. How are we supposed to do that? Can you believe we're doing this? You're gonna have to make up a new prophecy. <sighs> Before you and I met, one of my embers told me about his work at Oscorp and this treatment that they had discovered. Who cares, right? Fancy suit that can make you big and strong is just another case of the unworthy trying to cheat death and play God. That's what I thought, too. But... When devils attack the city... Like I prophesied! And Oscorp sent out some of this treatment for safekeeping. I knew it was meant for me. That's what all this was for. Crimson hour rolls over this earth. It shall bring truth. Judgment.
go underground just like last time but I'll find him you could have killed him but you saved me instead I told you I'm trying to save the most lives and you still do that pretty well you gonna turn me in now I'll let you know when I find him so he could get a symbiote. At least we stopped him from taking innocent lives in the process. Hey, Yuri. Do you want help tracking down the flame? Thanks, but I need some time to myself. Besides, we've taken down a good chunk of his operation, so he'll be going back to the drawing board. I'll start checking his old aliases. Archie Abel, Walter Wackman, Cletus Cassidy. But this could take months. Maybe even years. I'll be ready when you've got something. Thanks. I couldn't turn her in after she saved me. Maybe I... Ugh. suffering through a litany of problems right now. Inflation through the roof, feckless government officials, and a country on the brink of a collapse not seen since the fall of the Roman Empire. Get the word. Most insidious dilemma we face is that of the faceless. It seems another masked vigilante is bringing their illegitimate justice to the streets. All reports indicate an individual disguised in purple and sporting a take-no-prisoners approach to the illegal activities they perpetrate. Some of you have criticized the Spider-Man for not going far. Central Park Reservoir. The water system. Pumping goo everywhere. Adding more and more people to the hive mind. All those symbiotes get out of Manhattan. Goodbye, Earth. Hello, planet Goo. The meteorite is the source of all the power, right? Creating Goo, creating symbiotes. But it was useless until Harry repaired it. Yeah. And that particle accelerator is what damaged it in the first place. Cut off a piece at low power. Right, so what if we crank the power up? Like way past 11. Might destroy it and free everyone connected to the hive mind. Theoretically. But that reservoir's gotta be mobbed with symbiotes. And you know Harry's not gonna let that rock out of his sight. Unless he sees something he wants more. Me. Just, you know, for illustrative purposes. Harry's still Harry. He thinks he's healing the world. But the dream isn't complete without... His best friend beside him. I can lead Harry away from the meteorite. And I can handle all the symbiotes. While I grab the space rock. For illustrative purposes. All right. Fire up the accelerator. No more hive mind. World saved. We all get churros? <laughs> Theoretically. Pete. What Connor said about Harry being too far gone. If you can't save him, are it you It won't ready? come to that. You two will be able to destroy the rock in time. Let's heal the world. For real this time. So the 
meteorite is somewhere in that thing? So are Harry and his friends. Here. I figured you could use a sonic touch. <gasps> They're just standing there. What are they waiting for? Look, I can't thank you both enough for everything. Come on, bro. We're the Spider team. <laughs> Don't anyone forget it? Hey, buddy! You gonna sit in there and play with your pet rock all night? It's you and me, Harry. Like we always wanted. Catch me first. Story, Watson. What was that? A dead end? No. There has to be a way in. Whoever dropped these flares. I hope they made it out.
the meteorites connected to the rest of the hive. Just a normal rock. I can also end the world. Alive. Gotta get out of here. It's just past that chopper. Sure, your plus one isn't invited to our high school reunion, Harry. Harry. This is where we became best friends. Yeah, it is. Now it's where we become brothers. Ah! 
came over every single day after school! Even slept over after your mom got sick! I couldn't feel like that. When you lost her, that day on the football field, I was there! Always have been! Until we got sick again. <laughs> Fighting for our lives. I was trying to save you. Did you feel like that? Yes. We're giving you a chance.
getting close.
as us now.
You ready to finish this? Almost. No, we don't. It'll kill them. And then it'll kill you. Let's heal the world, Pete. Together. Yeah. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Give me some room. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I gotta try. Pulse is weak. We gotta move. What have you done? What have you done to him? I'm so sorry. I'm coming with you. Wait. There are traces of brain activity, but his chances of coming back are very slim. Just keep him alive. Get the G serum ready ASAP. For the last few years, tragedy has tried to tear this city apart. But we somehow kept going. We battled sickness, evil, Cataclysm. We are tired, anxious, stressed, numb. But we have never lost hope. The city needs to heal. We're all ready to return to normal, but what is normal? What if it no longer exists? Over the last half hour, I've talked about how these events have changed me. But what about you? In this ongoing series, I will be talking with people throughout the city, exploring our new behaviors, new routines, new thoughts and feelings. 
I hope you'll join me on this journey. This has been Mary Jane Watson, and you're listening to The New Normal. Episode one, done. Nice. <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, are these good to go? Uh, in a minute, maybe? I want to show you something first. Okay. It has molasses in it. Yum, I'll take those. <laughs> Thanks again for the donation, Peter. Have you talked to Miles about? Not yet. You ready? Uh, Miles. I've been meaning to talk to you uh, about something. Uh, I mean, I have been talking to you there all, all the time. It's, it's, it's great uh, to talk. So many good talks. Uh, I just haven't been talking to you about what I should have been talking to you about. Pete. Uh, wait, uh, let me start again. I got this. All of it. Go be Peter Parker for a while. Are you, are you sure it's, it's a big city? I can handle it. As long as I can still call you for advice. You don't need it. <sighs> Maybe not now, but there'll come a time. I'm here for you, always. Big bro. What do you want? The Spider-Men. You know who they are, don't you? Why? They ruined my son. We all have to experience loss. Even you, Norman.
What are you writing? The final chapter. Hi. I hope you're hungry. Food's almost ready. Why don't you go show her your essay? He worked so hard on it. Some guy in Harlem, probably seen him volunteering in the city, helping out his city council mom, and trying to live up to his hero dad. Yeah. Hi, Miles, Haley. This is Albert. Uh, hi. Nice to meet you. Oh, and uh, <laughs> this is my daughter, Cindy. <laughs> 